We have the latest now on the Garing wildfire out in the Panhandle. It continues to burn and is now up to over 15,000 acres, according to the Nebraska Forest Service. Matthew Mitleider has more on this. As the fire in Carter Canyon just southwest of Garing continues to burn, the Nebraska Army National Guard has been activated to help. With approval from Governor Pete Ricketts, six personnel with the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter and a water bucket were activated. Then on Monday evening, they deployed three more soldiers and one more UH-60 for a total of nine National Guard soldiers and two Black Hawk helicopters supporting local authorities. The fire is up from 13,000 acres and now sits at around 15,600 acres burned, according to the Nebraska Forest Service. There are currently over 35 fire departments assisting in the battle as well, and it is considered to be about 30% contained, says Public Information Officer Ben Bohall of the Nebraska Forest Service. Bohall also clarified that 30% containment does not indicate that 30% of the fire is out, but that 30% of the fire's perimeter is hemmed in by barriers such as places where the fire already burned or where it can no longer ignite. The fire incident commander from Carter Canyon, Nathan Flowers, says that they had a good night last night and that things were slow. So we're still with inside the big box, still a lot of work to do. Um, Alpha's looking pretty good. Uh, Delta still has some areas that we got to improve. Um, Mike and Romeo here on this side is looking, looking like uh, there's pockets of heat. You'll see kind of where the red area is there, um, that we have some areas of concern. Nebraska Forest Service also reports that the fire has led to various evacuations, destroyed three homes, and caused fire damage to several others. They say that crews have been dealing with increased wind gusts and shifts, as well as near 100 degree heat, but there is a good chance for rain and lightning soon, which they'll be monitoring closely. This is Matthew Mitletter, Channel 8 News. And there is a 50% chance of rain tonight in the area. Officials say it could help douse the fire, but any lightning also has the potential to spark up more flames.